I started uh, my uh, eight year period here at Manchester with a, a five year undergraduate degree in aerospace engineering. Uh, so that was a, a master's uh, degree for four years and featured a year working in industry. Uh, and then started on a three year PhD course uh, in aeroacoustics which is a, a sub-discipline of fluid mechanics. I'm in the final throes of writing up my thesis, so ideally um, I should finish that before Christmas this year. There's a number of factors that influenced my decision to come to MACE, uh, but principally I just went off instinct. So I turned down an offer from Cambridge to, to choose Manchester and come and study engineering here. I came on open days like everybody else and met the people, chatted to the students, saw the facilities, and it just, just felt right from the word go for me. I uh, lived in Manchester for the first two years of my undergraduate degree. First year I stayed in halls, second year in a house, and I just felt that the university was ideally situated for everything you needed. So the city's got everything you want, uh, they've got the student suburbs that was only 20 minutes away, and uh, the, the nightlife another 20 minutes away in the other direction. So everything that you want is a short bus ride or a walk away. Students need a lot of resources really to complete a degree successfully, and I think that Manchester has always been committed to me anyway to providing everything that I need so uh, the career service and the library are two of the highlights for me that I've used but also we're fortunate to have a hypersonic wind tunnel and PCs updated every two years so everything that you need to complete your degree. The Student Village is a collection of, of desks that are specifically for the use of research students. So completing a research degree is not like completing an undergraduate degree. That You can't just go to a textbook to find the answer to the problem. We're dealing with unsolved problems here. Uh, and it's, it's useful to be able to have a dedicated PC uh, with all the software you need, a dedicated library uh, of books and materials that you can use to, to really focus on, on developing that solution. You never know where the inspiration can come from. You can just bounce ideas off those around you and or it helps everybody get the research done. I was one of a few people to take the industrial experience course which involved the placement in industry and I'm actually a big advocate of industrial placements. I got an awful lot out of it. In fact I got a graduate job offer just off that original interview. So I always like to tell people if you think five years sounds like a long time and you don't want to do the industrial placement year, think again because it gets you such a head start on your career in as much that you know people at the company, you can get yourself a graduate offer lined up well in advance of everybody else applying. My career progression has been kind of a winding path but I've got so much from this university in terms of support and advice in helping me make the decisions I've needed to to get where I want to be. I've stood at MACE now for eight years, initially signed up for five. Uh, and I'm actually lining up a, a research job after this as a postdoc to stay here for a little while yet. So uh, I'm thoroughly um, pleased with the decision I've made to, to study here and to develop my career here. And I hope to be here for many years yet.